Hello. Welcome to week two of the Steve Ball Show. Um, Steve's picks. This week, we have a lot of good games going on and a lot of good teams playing. Um, the first game we're going to talk about is Chicago versus Green Bay, which is happening tonight at 820 on Thursday Night Football. Um, Chicago has a good team in Jay Cutler and Matt Forte, and um, they have a good defense with Brian Urlacher, um, but so do the Packers. The Packers have a good defense with A.J. Hawk and um, uh, Kay, uh, Clay Matthews, um, and they have good cornerbacks, and they also have a good quarterback in Aaron Rodgers. So I think that, um, and they have good receivers in Donald Driver and um, Greg Jennings and um, Jermichael Finley, um, and um, other players, but um, they lost last week, the Packers did, um, and I think they're going to have a bounce back game this the, today. I think they're going to win, um, but I think it's going to be a close game because they both have good defenses, so I think the Packers will win this game 35-28 um, to 28 Packers. The next game we're going to look at is Kansas City versus Buffalo. Um, Buffalo, they're a very young team. They have a good quarterback in um, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, and I don't know, um, they have some good receivers, and they supposedly fixed their defense, but it didn't look good last week. Um, this this week they're playing Kansas City, who's a very experienced team. They have a good quarterback in Matt, uh, M Matt Castle. Um, they have good receivers also. So I think they're going to, I think Kansas City is going to win this week. And I think it's not going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a blowout. Um, 31-7 to Kansas City. The next game um, is New Orleans versus Carolina. Last year, th these two teams played. And New Orleans, they um, they played and they were leading. And they kept, um, they kept pounding it into them. And I think Carolina is very mad about how... Um, New Orleans rubbed their victory into them because they were trying to set records. I think that um, Carolina lost last week, but I think that Carolina is going to bounce back and have a good game because Cam Newton is a good quarterback, and so is uh, Steve, Steve Smith a good receiver. Um, they have other good players. So I think um, New Orleans, with what all that's happening to them, with um, not having um, Sean Payton as coach, or Greg Williams is uh, defensive coordinator. I think that the the Carolina is going to win this week, um, uh, and they're going to it's going to be a, a close game. I think Carolina is going to win thirty five to twenty eight this week and improve the record to one and one. Um, next game is Cleveland um, at Cincinnati. Um, Cleveland. Played well yet last week against uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. They almost beat the Eagles. Um, but Cincinnati is a very, very, very better, a way better team than um, Cleveland. I think it's gonna be. A, I think Andy Dalton's gonna have a field day against this Cleveland Cleveland defense. I think that uh, the game is gonna be a blowout. I think Cleveland is going to win um, forty-one to seven against the Cleveland Browns. This week, um, the next game we're going to look at is Minnesota versus Indianapolis. Uh, Minnesota has a good quarterback, um, and um, they have good receivers. Um, they have especially good running back in Adrian Peterson. And um, but Indianapolis has a young team, so um, and they have a good quarterback in Colt McCoy. Not Colt McCoy, I mean Andrew Luck, my bad. And um, they... Uh, um, they didn't. They played okay last week, but I still think that I still think even though they're the Colts are a young team, I still think that they're gonna win um, because I don't think I think the talent that Andrew Luck has um, can't be any worse than they any worse than last week. So I think he's gonna have a bounce back game, and I think even though the Vikings have a good team, I think the the Colts will win this week, um, and I think it's gonna be a close game though. And I think the Colts will come out um, last second and go down the field and score a touchdown and win 28-21 to against the Indianapolis Colts. The next game is Houston versus Jacksonville. 
Houston last year was very close to going to uh, winning the AFC Championship game or going to the AFC Championship game one or two. And I um, they have a good quarterback in Matt Schaub, and they have good receiver in Andre Johnson. Um, I think, but Jacksonville is a very young team. That's why I think Houston will come out um, top, and they have a good defense. Houston. That's why I think Houston will come out top um, this week against Jacksonville. And I think the score will be um, a two-game score. So I think they will win 35 to 21, Houston. Um, the next game is Arizona versus New England. New England is a very, very, very good team. Um, they proved that last week, winning in a blowout. Um, I forget who uh, I forget who they played, um, but they won in a blowout. Arizona, they are a mediocre team. Um, they won last week in the last seconds of the game um, with Kevin Cobb throwing a touchdown pass to I forget who, but um, I think New England's going to win in a blowout again because they have a good team. Um, I think it's going to be uh, 40, 40, uh, 48 to 7 New England um, in the win. Next game is Tampa Bay versus New York Giants. Um, the New York Giants le- last week lost against the Dallas Cowboys. I think that um, they, Tampa Bay has a good team, but I don't think they're 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 as good as the New York Giants. The New York Giants have a good um, defense, um, and Jason Tuck and uh, Pierre Paul, um, and they have good receive. Uh, the Giants have good receivers and Victor Cruz and um, um, Akeem Nix. And they and uh, good running back in um in um um they have a good running back and they have a good quarterback in Eli Manning and they are Super Bowl they are the defending Super Bowl champions so I think that they will have a bounce back game after that loss and that they will win um um two with two scores um I think they will win thirty five to um. 21, New York Giants. The next game is I'm going to discuss is Baltimore versus uh, Philadelphia. Um, Baltimore came off a good game last week. They won in a uh, very, very a blowout um, versus uh, the, a very good team in Cincinnati. They won 44-13. to um, They have a good defense um, with Ray Lewis and Ed Reed. And they have... A very good offense, and Anquan Bolden, and um, Ray Rice, and Joe Flacco. Um, Eagles have a good team, too, um, with Michael Vick, and um, Deshaun, LaShawn McCoy, and Deshaun Jackson, and um, um, uh, Macklin, but he's not. I don't think he's going to play this week um, because he's hurt. Um, they have a good defense with Jason Babin, and Trent Cole, and... Um, Fletcher Cox, and they have um, DRC and Asamoa, but the way the Eagles played last week makes me think that this is going to be a hard game for the Eagles to win, um, especially because how Baltimore played. Um, if the Eagles do win, it'll be the, the last second um, touchdown. But I really do think that I think that the Baltimore Ravens are going to win this game in um, in, a, in a very close game. They will have the upper, I think they'll have the upper hand and win. Um, I don't like to say this, but I think they're going to win 31 to 28 this week, unless Michael Vick has a better game than he did last week, where where last week he threw four interceptions. Um, if he doesn't have a better game, I think that the Ravens will win 31 to 28. But hopefully, um, the Eagles can fly and soar and 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 win in the last second, like they did last week against Cleveland. Go Eagles! But hopefully, they win. But I think Baltimore is going to win that game. Um, oh, next game we're going to talk about is Oakland at um, Minnes, um, Miami. Oakland, uh, they played. They didn't play the best of the game last week, they, but they lost by a touchdown. And um, Miami, I think they won last week. So I think Ryan Tannehill is going to beat the Oakland Raiders um, this week. I think the score is going to be um, 21 to 17, Miami. Next game is Washington and St. Louis. Uh, Washington played really, really well against the Saints last week in a blowout. I think that Robert Griffin, the third, is going to get better. 
Um, I think St. Louis is a really good team, but they're not as good as Washington is. I think that it's going to be a two-touchdown game um, with Washington winning 45-35 to um, 35, uh, Washington. Um, next game is Dallas at C Seattle. Dallas played well last week against the Giants. Um, and at Seahawks, they lost, but I think Seattle's going to bounce back and um, win this game against the Cowboys. I think they're going to win 35-28 um, Seattle this week. They're going to bounce back and win. The next game is New York Jets versus Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh lost in a blowout 31-19 um, to against the Broncos last week um, where Peyton Manning had a field day. And um, Pittsburgh didn't look as good as as uh, as they could have, but I think they'll have a bounce back game. The Jets played awesome too, so I think it's gonna be a close game. And where the Steelers win this game um, in the last second, um, forty one to thirty five, or forty two to thirty five, Steelers win this game against the Jets. The next game is Tennessee versus San Diego. San Diego played a very well, a, a very good game against um, the Raiders. Um, last week on Monday Night Football, um, in Tennessee, I think, I think they won last week. I don't, I don't remember. But Tennessee has a good quarterback and um, Jake Locker, so I think San Diego will win. I think they have more experience. They have um, more players, more proven players like um, Philip Rivers and um, Antonio Gates. So I, th I think they're gonna win this game. Uh, 31 to 28. Um, San Diego is going to win this game. The next game is Detroit versus San Francisco. Um, last year, I'm pretty sure San Francisco came into Detroit and um, beat the Detroit Lions and went <clears throat> onto the net to onto the NFC Championship game. And um, so I think that Detroit's going to want revenge against San San Francisco. Um, they're going to try to win really hard, and they do have a good team, but I don't think that they can match the talent that um, San Francisco has with um, Alex Smith and Randy Moss and um, Brandon Jacobs um, and all the other and, all, and the defense they have and all the other players that San Francisco has. I don't think that Detroit can match the talent that this team has. Um, I think that San Francisco is going to win this game it's going to be a close game, and I think that they that San Francisco is going to win um, 38 to 28, um, San Francisco. The last game is Monday Night Football. Are you ready for some football? And I think, um, and it's Denver versus Atlanta. Atlanta has a very good quarterback in Matty Ice, and they have a very good um, they have a very good receiver in Antonio Gates. Um, and they have a very good defense, but I do think that Peyton Manning has a, and the Broncos have a very better, way better team, and I think that the Broncos <clears throat> will win this game, and it will be a close game. I think that Peyton will throw the last second touchdown to win, um, in a two two score game, and the score will be thirty eight to thirty one. No. That's not too scary. Thirty-eight to twenty-eight. My bad. Um, uh, Broncos, and um, this is Steve's pick. And go Eagles! Hopefully, you win this week. Um, in a in a against a very good team in Baltimore. See you next week for Steve's picks and Steve Ball show.